Well, just one week from today, next Tuesday, September 10th, primary day in New Haven, as four candidates face off in the race to replace retiring Mayor John DeStefano Jr. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis takes a closer look at a former member of the DeStefano administration. Henry Fernandez says he's the right man for the job. 45-year-old Henry Fernandez has lived in the city for 23 years, spent seven years in the DeStefano administration, mostly as economic development director. He now has his own consulting firm. He cites four problems that must be addressed by the next mayor. We need to cut crime. We need to dramatically improve the New Haven public schools. Uh, we need to do serious economic development in order to create jobs uh, and, and lower taxes. And we have to fix the city's financial problems. Fernandez places partial blame for New Haven's current financial difficulties, which has resulted in a lowering of the city bond rating, on the candidate considered by most to be the favorite in the primary, State Senator Tony Harp. Where we are right now in the city of New Haven is that we're facing a financial crisis. And there's no question that Senator Harp has been a, an elected official during the development of this serious financial crisis. He says the opportunities coming out of Yale and the medical complex need to be exploited to create even more jobs and more tax revenue. And he says the renewed commitment to community policing must be expanded. We need to deepen community policing. We also need to deal with the over 100 people who come out of prison into the city of New Haven every month. Before his time at City Hall, Fernandez helped to start what was one of the city's largest youth programs. He says more programs are needed now and that they can be run economically. In addition to his City Hall experience, Fernandez touts some Washington experience as well. He served on President Obama's transition team. In New Haven, Mark Davis, News 8.